Buffonge. Little touch for Chong. Turnley maybe. It opened up for him. Oh. It was well worth a hit. Alex Palmer watched it all the way into the gloves. Yeah. Decent from Zach Durnley. Decent save in the end from the goalkeeper. Chong with the corner. And he gets it back from Buffonge as well. Good change of pace here too. Looking really threatening. Where's it dropping? Oh. Hamilton! Straight at Palmer, who stretched to make himself as big as was humanly possible. Yeah, that's where you want to see Tahi Chong. And it has to be said that he's unlucky, Ethan Hamilton. It's a good save from Alex Palmer. Williams and Poole forward for this Tahi Chong corner. And Whelan as well. And he's desperately unlucky there. That just wouldn't quite dip enough from Manchester United's point of view. It was a difficult skill to execute. He did it really well. Over it comes towards Morton, who's just a little ahead of the ball. Edwards maybe! And it's West Brom's turn to rattle the woodwork. Yeah. And another strike of quality that comes so close. That was a lovely touch from Edwards on the turn. No chance for Kovac. Liko. Morton leaves it. Over by Harmon. Oh, oh that yeah. it is a problem. It's a West Brom goal. Dan Meredith kept his eye on the ball and made it his when no one else seemed to want to take charge. It just looked like a, a sort of a bit of a hit and hope ball, really, when it came in. Whelan, little touch for Barry. Yeah. Penalty. He was in no doubt at all. And Josh Bowie's made quite an impact since coming on, so it's fitting that he is the one to win the penalty. He will have been told to go on and make an impact. He's certainly done that. Josh Bowie rolls it home with ease and rolls Manchester United back into the game. Hamilton. Over it goes. Who wants it? It was very close to being tapped home by Tyrell Warren. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying, you see, about about getting balls in the box, and they turn that ball inside. Alex Palmer's right-hand post. 